Oh, hello there, Wiz Kids. I hope you had a very, very nice Christmas. You just caught me in a nice, relaxing weekend with a nice cuppa. Smashing stuff, this, you know. Anyway, did you have a nice Christmas? You know, Christmas wasn't always like this. I mean, I've only been around for two, three hundred years, but long before that, on the very first Christmas, let me tell you about it, okay? First of all, there's some shepherds out in the field. They were doing nothing else but watch their sheep. And all of a sudden, there was a light in the sky and thought, Hey, up, what's going on here? There's something strange here. And then they heard a choir. A choir in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be a nice, quiet, relaxing job. But all these angels singing, Glory to God in the highest. Well, they were a bit shocked. And the angel said to them, Hang on, I've got something very much, very important to tell you. But today, in Bethlehem, just over the hill, there lies in a manger the Messiah, the one who will be Christ, the Lord, Lord God, Heavenly God, come to earth just to be with man, to save all mankind. So the shepherd thought, what are you talking about? Anyway, let's go and have a look. So off they went, and they totted, and they eventually found the place. It was a mucky little stable. But there, just as the angel said, lying in a manger was a baby. And it wasn't just any baby, you could, you could tell that. And then they told his mother, Mary they called her, and Father Joseph, everything the angel had said. And Mary was going, yes, I understand. Joseph was stood there, I think he was still trying to puzzle it all out, but Mary knew. So after that, well, the Bible tells us, instead of going straight back to the hills, to look after their sheep. They went around the whole town. And it was full of people, don't forget. They were there for the census. You can read about it in the Bible. And they went around and they told everybody they met what the angel had said, what Mary and Joseph had said, and what they had seen. Now I think that's not a bad idea. Because I bet, and I can guarantee, that you have gone and told your friends what you got for Christmas. Is that right? Off mum and dad, off your best friend, off your grandma, your granddad, your uncle, your uncle, your brother, your sister. You told everybody. This was the best Christmas present. That God himself actually came to meet man, to save man. And the shepherds understood, and off they went. They told everybody what the angel had said, what they had seen, and what they expected. Why don't you tell them what Christmas really means to you? Tell people about the birth of Jesus. What happened after that? Well, I think you know where to find it. Have a look in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, all four of them, they all tell a slightly different story about Jesus. Because they had seen Jesus, they had met him, they had spoke with him. And you know, that's probably the best present, to tell somebody about Jesus. Because they might just need to hear it. Okay? Well, I tell you what, I'm going back to enjoy my nice cup of tea. And put me feet up. Look, my sack's empty. I'm finished the job. So I'm going to rest now until next year. Okay? Take care, whiz kids.